Hello, and welcome back to what's bubbling in Zimbiroll. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this set of bubblings, we're going to be showing all of what's new in Zim015. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And in the what's new right here, if you press on the what's new, it links through to our versions, and here is the latest version right here, Zim 015. And I'm going to press on that. It features a whole bunch of stuff with Texture Active, and that's in 3JS, but we'll show you that in another bubbling. Right now I want to take you through to the, the general updates here, and the first one of those is the timeline, and that's what we're looking at today. Wow, lots of stuff going on there. How about that? So we're currently looping the timeline down here, and basically any animation that's on the, on the stage, which we have a few, three of them. The, the first is an animation along a squiggle. The second one is a series animation. So that's uh, multiple steps of animation all put together in an array. And then here's just kind of a normal one down here. There are settings for the timeline right here. So let's stop it looping so we can kind of think a little. There it stopped looping. There's also a trail setting, whether we want to show these labels down below. That's the labels and the ticks. So if we do that, it goes away. And we also have a speed, which is kind of cool. So do you want to see, let's take off the trails. This will slow it down. But if we bring the trails back on, then we go like this. Ready? Boop. Whoa. How about that? Good. And then we can scrub along here as well, along the timeline. All right, pretty cool, huh? So let's uh, see how we can do that code. And what we'll do is we will pop on back up to here under the docs. And I'm going to hit the updates right here. And the updates. And now, who features for the first time some images. So uh, we had just uh, such spectacular images for the 3D stuff, but we'll show that after. And that's still 3D and 3D, and here's the timeline right here. Here's a little bit of code right here. You can also find this code in the docs. I'm going to hit copy on that. And we'll come back to Zim and go into the editor and paste her into the editor like so and hit test. Uh, <laughs> so it's remembered our slowness, unfortunately. So let's speed that up a bit. Okay, no, how about up to one? There we go. And it can go quite fast as well. So there, there it is in there. And we can then look at the code over on the left-hand side here. Uh, we've made a squiggle. We're taking the controls off of that squiggle. We're transforming the points just so it's a little bit bigger, scaling. If we dot ska, we can dot ska the path as well. It just makes the path thicker, twice as thick. And by transforming, it just transforms the points instead of uh, the, the path. My window a little bit too big here. All right, and we're centering that on there. And we've got a circle that's added to that. We don't need a rote circle and that's because we pulled this from when we animated the something else I guess probably a triangle and then we're animating so I should go move that off of the uh, example code as well we're animating along the path in four seconds and then we've got a const timeline and the timeline has some settings as you can imagine you can set that to loop right away and various colors oh, we didn't look at the color did we Here's the colors, so we have a little color picker. And all the color picker does is just change the color of that. It was fun to do the um, components for that. So you can set the length of that too and run it right along the bottom if you want. It automatically gets added. Note, so we just said new timeline, which means we don't even need to store it in a variable either. And test that, still works. Okay, but yeah, it was fun to do 
that stuff this can be brought up here. Um, that's built into the the uh, pane, which is what that is. Here we've got a list. So inside of the pane is a list, and these are those special list elements that make this kind of stuff for us, which is quite handy. All, all of these actually, the check boxes and that all thrown within the list. So that's along the lines of what um, that GUI would do for if you're coming in from processing or somewhere else, P5.js. That GUI is a little um, interface package that, that many uh, artists use. And we can do that kind of stuff too. We tend to be a little bit bigger than Daigui. Daigui is just kind of like tucked up here in the left. We like an integrated look that is nice on the finger when playing with and uh, just looks, uh, well, customize it a bit more. All right, so uh, there we go. There's the Zim timeline. So that can kind of show you how an animation is looking. Thanks to Greensock, your GSAP, they've had a timeline for quite some time, and we've looked at that timeline and gone, oh, what a nice timeline that is. And in this latest version of Zim, Zim 015, right here, uh, that will also take you, by the way, into our latest version page. Uh, there we have the timeline in Zim 015. I am Dr. Abstract, and this has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. Check out the other ones, too. We'll go through uh, other updates there as well. Cheers. Oh, come visit us. ZimJS.com slash Slack or ZimJS.com slash Discord. Don't be shy. Say hi. Uh, and we'd be happy to help you with any of questions, etc. Cheers.